The Brandon Valley Lynx finished on top of Class 11 AAA a year ago with a state championship victory over Washington. Now the Lynx turn their attention to this season where they will meet rival Roosevelt in the season opener. As a team, I think we're really just excited to get out there and finally play a, a game against another opponent. I mean, we've kind of been going against ourselves for the past couple of weeks, so I mean, I think we're just excited to get out there and finally play a game, see where we're at. Following last season's outcome, the South Dakota Prep Media Football Poll ranked the Lynx as the preseason number one team. But Brandon Valley isn't resting on their laurels. It doesn't mean that much to me anyways. I don't know how the rest of the guys feel, but I mean, last year's over with. We got new guys that need to step up. We got returning guys that need to step up. So ranks don't really matter to me right now. We always know that we, our goal is to get better as the a, as a year goes on. And, and uh, you know, the preseason rankings and things like that really, really don't mean anything. It's, you know, who's playing in the Final Four at the end. and and at, with a chance to go to the Dome. Last season, Roosevelt handed Brandon Valley their second loss of the year as Roosevelt's defense held the Lynx to only seven points en route to a 24-7 win. Last year our defense played really well against them and, and uh, I can't, I guess I can't really expect that kind of a performance every week, but we're hoping that we can, you know, control them a little bit if, we, if possible and uh, they've got a lot of their skill guys back and it's going to really depend on what happens up front, I think. Brandon Valley returns one of the state's top quarterbacks in Thomas Skolton, who could cause problems for Roosevelt's defense. Trust our D-line. Um, as a defense, we try to be gap sound. That's our main key. Um, stop the run. Uh, Thomas is a very good player, and um, we'll try to contain, it, contain him as much as possible and um, just do our job. Brandon Valley returns a list of talented players on defense, which a year ago only allowed 15 points per game during the state title run. They've always defended us really well, and, and uh, they're always sound. Uh, they mix up their coverages. They, they disguise their coverages pretty well, and, and so we're just going to try to uh, execute, I guess. I would say just uh, rely on quarterback, our quarterback Brady Danabring. He's been slinging the ball out here, making confident reads, so I think uh, it comes down to him and uh, if we get our reads right. Roosevelt's defense allowed less than 19 points per game a year ago and returns their two leaders on defense in Adam and Aaron Kusler. Well, defensively, they're really stout, and uh, they return a lot of those guys from last year. They lost a couple D linemen, but uh, they return in, in a lot, quite a few good players, and so that'll be a challenge for our offense. They're, they're always athletic, and they'll They'll always bring pressure, so just from them on the offense side of the ball, we've got some things that we can do, but we're going to kind of just stick to our regular game plan for them. Roosevelt was preseason ranked the number three team in Class 11 AAA by the Prep Media Poll, meaning that this game could be a rematch seen in November. It definitely could be. I, I think time will tell. I mean, I think bo both teams are, are very good, and I think both teams are definitely in the title contention. The Lynx and Rough Riders will square off Friday at Howard Wood Field. Kickoff is set for 6 o'clock and highlights can be seen during the Kelloland Sports Zone Friday night at 10.30. With this Kelloland.com original, I'm Grant Sweeter.